Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to disable the Magento Compare feature. That's right. Now, before we go across to Magento, it's worth pointing out here that there isn't like a module which you can disable within Magento, like you can do with maybe the polls, for example, or the tags within Magento to turn the compare feature off. And you're left with one of two options. And they're very simple. You have the nerdy way, which requires you to go and edit one of your XML files in Magento, and then also go and comment out the blocks within your theme. Or you have the easy way, which we're going to show you in this tutorial, which is how to install a free extension for Magento, and it will disable them for you. Now, if you want to go the nerdy way, just go and Google disable compare feature in Magento and look for the nerdy way. We like this way because it's much easier and there's no editing of PHP files or XML files. Does that make sense, Dave? Yes. So with that said, up in your web browser in front of you, you've got a link. And Dave, that link is understandinge.com forward slash DCP. That's Delta Charlie Papa. Okay, and that stands for Disable Compare Products. So if you follow that link, you'll come across to the Magento Connect website and the extension is called Disable Compare Products and it will disable the compare products for you. Oh, Dave, there's also worth a little note here as well, is that even though you may have the compare products feature turned off if you're using the website theme called Ultimo, which we explain over on how to set up and use on Understanding E, is that the functionality is still there in the background and can still be found by customers. So this extension will disable them all. Now, the first thing to note, we are on the Magento Connect site and you will need to be logged in. If you're not already logged in, click on My Account in the top right-hand corner. Or when you click on the Install Now button, you'll be asked to sign in. So if you don't have an account just yet, go and create one. It's free. And then come back here and then tick the box which says, I agree to the extension license agreement. And of course, you're going to read that as thoroughly as what we're about to. And then click on Get Extension Key and then click on select key and then we're going to right click and we're going to copy that all straightforward now dave yeah i'm with you so far happy days so let's go across to our magento system so the first thing which you need to do is make sure that the compiler is disabled within your magento system so go to system down to tools then click on compilation and then I'm gonna highlight this bit on the screen for you. So where it says compiler status, if yours says enabled, okay, so ours is disabled right now. If yours says enabled, click on the disable button at the top. And that's a critical step. So if you do see enabled, go and disable that. And of course you can come back and enable it afterwards, but you need to make sure that the compiler is disabled before adding or removing any extensions from your Magento system. Now the section where you need to go to is System, Magento Connect, and then Magento Connect Manager. Now while that's loading up a moment, it's also worth pointing out that good practice before adding or removing or changing anything major in your Magento website is to go and make a backup of your Magento system. Now, if you're using cPanel, we've got dedicated tutorials to show you how to do that over at understandinge.com. And we've also got dedicated tutorials on YouTube to show you how to do that. Now, do not skip that step because it's vitally important that you do have a backup in place before adding or removing or make any major changes to your site. 99% of the time, you'll never need it. But just in case, do make that backup. So log in with your Magento credentials. Okay, so that's the same login details which you have when you log into your Magento admin. Now, if you're seeing a red warning box at the top of this page, copy that message, paste it into Google, and you'll find one of our other video tutorials which will show you how to resolve that error. And again, we're assuming that you don't, so we're going to carry on. In this second box where it says paste extension key to install, right click and then click paste and then click on install and then click on proceed. 
Now it's really important that you stay on this page before going any further. And the reason why you want to stay on this page is because you're looking for the message which says cash cleaned successfully. Do not leave this page until you see that message. And again, I've put a green arrow just to the left hand side of that. Don't leave this page until it's finished. Once it has been finished, we need to go back to the top of the page, click on return to admin. Now the steps which we're about to take you back through are standard practice for adding or removing any Magento extension. So the first thing which you want to do is go and clear out your caches. So go to system, down to cache management. On the left hand side, click select tool and then press submit on the right hand side. Then at the top, click on flush Magento cache. Wait for that to complete. It will take a second or two like it is on our screen. Excellent. Then click on flush cache storage and then click on OK. And again, that will take a moment or two to be cleared. Also, down in the bottom left hand corner, once that's finished, you want to click on flush JavaScript forward slash CSS cache and clear that out. And Dave, the last one, which is the one which everybody forgets, which is you must remember to log out. So click log out in the top right hand corner and then click log back in when you go back into your Magento site. Now that extension, there are no configuration options for it. It will disable all the compare features on your Magento website for you. So Dave, was that nice and straightforward to do? Yeah, that was nothing confusing there. It was nice and easy. Okay, like I said back at the beginning of this tutorial, there's two ways which you can do this. You can either do it the nerdy way by editing layout files. And of course you may want that back. You may want the compare feature back at some point in the future. And you may forget that you've been and edited those files. And it's not just one file which you need to change, it's two. And again, if you want to know how to do the nerdy way, go look that up on Google, but it's not an area which we want to touch. And again, the way which we've been showing you, it's really straightforward. It's an extension. If you want to get the compare feature back, you would just go into system, then go into Magento Connect and then Magento Connect Manager. Remember, log in with your Magento login details. And then in the list, of installed extensions is that you'll scroll down and then somewhere near the bottom where it is, there you go, WFS disable compare. And if we wanted to disable that, we could then click on uninstall and then commit changes. And of course, then once that's finished, you would go back, return to admin, clear out your caches, log out, log back in again, and then you've got your compare feature back. Much more nicer way of disabling the compare feature within Magento. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.